Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up OBS real quick. Here we go, check it out. All right, there's been some questions of how do you set up OBS? How do you get the video in? How do you get the audio from those cameras or your designated audio source or microphone? I'm gonna show you a real quick way to set it up here today. All right, so first off, here's my setup. All right, so I got my Sony ZV-E10 that I'm holding in my hand right now, but I'm gonna show you uh, my setup here. All right, so we got our A10 Mini Pro here. Sorry, it's a little washed out maybe, but what we got, we got our power, right? This is gonna be that far right cable. We got our USB-C. This is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. Um, and I've told you guys before, this I think that's important. Thunderbolt 4, 40 gigabytes per second. Of course, we don't need that speed, but it's nice to know that our cable can do that. Uh, there's a link in the description if you wanna check those out. Then I got two HDMI inputs all right so this first one uh this silver one is going to be my sony zve 10 that i'm currently holding in my hand and then the second one this black one this is actually connected to my ipad right over here right and we got our hdmi to USB C adapter there and so i'm going to show you how this all works with obs but you just set that up is kind of basic right you get whatever cameras you want plug them into the hdmi inputs Make sure that you have a USB-C output to your computer or laptop there for OBS to pick up that source. All right, and so for the most part, that's all you need to do as far as the ATEM setup goes, at least for a basic setup. Now we're gonna go into the computer here, right? All right, so we go into our computer settings here, and then we're gonna actually, if you don't already have OBS downloaded, you're gonna go OBS Studio, just search that, or go to obsproject.com. This will pop up here, you're gonna click Download. All right, and the cool thing about OBS, it's open source, it's free, um, and so you just gotta download it there. And so whatever you're using here, all right, so you're using Mac, right? We can click on Windows if we're using Windows. Uh, but you can go to Mac here, and then depending on which one you have, all right, I have the uh, Mac Studio with the M1 Max chip in it, and so that's actually Apple Silicon. That's what that means. If you have an M1, M2, M3 chip, um, you're gonna wanna download the Apple Silicon. Now, if you have a Intel um, processor chip, you wanna download the Intel. All right, so then you'll download that, install that, and I'm gonna go down here. Here's OBS. Once it's kind of installed and everything, we're gonna launch it up. Now you're gonna see here on my screen, uh, I have uh, an opener set up already, but that's because um, it has to have a scene. But what I'm gonna show you is how to set up a scene um, in your sources very quickly. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a scene, just call this Black Magic ATEM, because that's what it is, right? All right, and so then we have that, but now we don't have any sources. That's gonna be the big, um, hang up and so you might be like well how come it's not picking it up well we have to add the video and the audio source in here so we'll click the plus button all right we're gonna go add video capture device all right we'll call this the ATEM all right and then you're gonna come to this screen right and so then it's gonna have a little device drop down menu then we're gonna have our different options all right so if you have different cameras hooked up right there's my iPhone um, which you can use with continuity feature with the new uh, Mac updates there, which is pretty cool. So if you actually want to use that, you could. Um, Elgato, I got a you know a little um, cam link there. It's not actually connected to anything. And then Black Magic Design. That's what we're going to want to choose for our ATEM Mini Pro because that is the brand. And so you're going to select that, and then see, look, boom. We can we already have a source because it's picking up uh, camera one from my ATEM, all right? So then if you wanna select any different types of settings, 1080p, that's the highest resolution that you can stream through ATEM Mini Pro. Now, if you're going directly through OBS without using the switcher there, um, OBS, you can actually stream in 4K if you have the internet capabilities to do that. Um, but because we're using the Blackmagic Design ATEM, we are limited to 1080, which is a great uh, resolution, All right? So we're gonna hit OK. And as you can see there, we already have one input on the screen. Now what I wanna show you next is we're gonna actually add an audio source. So right now we have video, but if I was to go start streaming, 
um, there would be no audio. So we actually have to add an audio source, right? So we're going to add audio input and we're going to put our, uh, you know, put ATEM as well. ATEM audio. All right. And then again, we have this drop down menu. You find the device. We're going to use our Black Magic design. If you have audio set up to your Black Magic um, ATEM Mini, all right. So if you do not have audio set up here for OBS, you're going to want to use. Um, so for me, I have this microphone right here. This is actually connected to an audio interface. It's a Volt 2, right? And so you can see that here. And so if I want this microphone on my stream, I'm going to want to select this as my audio source. That way, whatever video source I'm going to, this is going to be the audio that my audience will hear. Now, if you have, say, a microphone hooked up to the back of your A10 Mini Pro, um, you know, there's two mic inputs there, so you can have that. Obviously, you're going to want to make sure that it's on on your A10 Mini. Um, there's the buttons, right? You can turn it off, turn it on, mute, unmute. All that stuff you'll want to select black magic design now again i don't necessarily have any um, audio i could show you though i do have the camera hooked up here with a microphone so let's just test this one out real quick and so when i turn this camera one audio on see now we're seeing audio right there in our obs studio all right so that's pretty nice and then what you can see you have the ability to you know we can lower that a bit um, ideally we want to be right up here into that green if we're pushing into the yellow it's a little hot if we're in the red it's way too hot um, but i like to be a little below the yellow if we touch into it sometimes it's not terrible um, but this is going to be a good kind of rule of thumb is kind of pushing towards the end of the green but not quite into the yellow maybe sometimes when we're excited um, you know it might get up there but that's all right so that's going to be a good um, mix there. But again, I'm going to use, um, I want to use my Volt 2 audio interface for this microphone here. So I'm actually going to go in here. We're going to go to properties. All right. And then we're going to change that to the Volt 2. All right. And we'll add that in. And so now we can see this is actually this microphone that it's picking up. And now you can see it's a little bit lower. All right, so I'm going to want to adjust it again, right, so my audience can hear. If it's set too low, it might sound okay as far as like, hey, it's not cutting out, it's not super staticky or anything. But if it's too low, your audience can only turn it up so much on, say, YouTube or whatever they might be streaming on. And so then they can only get um, how uh, they can only get a certain amount of extra audio there. So <clears throat> making this a little bit higher again, pushing up towards the end of that green. Uh, is going to allow them to have a better audio feed and they can turn it up and down as they desire and so that's really how we set it up and now i got two cameras here i showed you earlier i have my ipad right this is actually an ipad air it has the m1 chip in it um, and it's just set up with a um, hdmi to USB C adapter and so we're just going to go camera two on the atem and now you can see this is my iPad right there real time right and this is one of the playlists that we have on our um, YouTube channel if you want to look at some more of this stuff OBS and a10 mini just some other um, tips there um, but that's really how you set up OBS now you can obviously get a lot fancier with it this is the basic just hey how do we plug and play I want to live stream right now today um, this is how you can do it but of course we can add some other fancier things in there um, I have an opener here, as you can see. Um, this is for our church service that we do. Um, this is a video one of our team made there with some motion graphics. Uh, if you're looking for some good motion graphics to add to your videos and you want to make some intros, outros, little um, just different clips, or maybe you want lower thirds, uh, motion VFX, there's a link in the description below for some of the graphics that we use. And so you guys can check that out. Those are great, um, super easy. Plug them into Final Cut Pro or they have um, different ones. You know, if you use DaVinci or Adobe Premiere, you can look at those different things. But some little great uh, graphics you can add in there. Now, if you're going to add into a, say, an opener like this, an intro, you're going to have to add an extra source, which this is. And so we added a source. We called it opener. And then you're going to add your video file right and we drag that in here um and or you can add the you know video 
um, source, media source is what that is. All right, and then that one will be right there. And so then once you click that, it's gonna go live. And so hit your stream, got a little intro video, right? After it's done playing, you can cut over to your Blackmagic uh, ATEM, be like, hey, what's going on? Welcome to the show, glad to have you. And then what's really cool about OBS, I mean, this, this is super versatile software. If you're not using OBS yet, you need to check it out because for one, it's free. But number two, like we think, oh, it's free, then it's probably cheap and doesn't work well. Not the case. It's actually super well put together. There's all kinds of plugins you can actually add to it to add to your stream there. Um, and then one of the ones that I really love about it is that we use Restream to stream out our church services. And so Restream is a streaming platform that allows you to actually stream to multiple different platforms simultaneously. So you could stream to, you know, say two different YouTube channels. You could stream to your Facebook page, your your business Facebook page. You could stream to face or uh, you could stream to Twitter or X, Twitch, all kinds of different channels all at the same time through Restream. Then what Restream has is they have a chat option that you can actually, it's a plugin that goes right into OBS and then we can actually have the chat live in our OBS studio and you can see the comments coming in there and then, um, which just makes it super awesome. So then you can actually, hey, Joe, thanks for joining us today. You know, when they're shouting out like, hey, I'm joining in from Austin, Texas, right? And you can say, hey, Joe, welcome from up from Austin, Texas. That's awesome that you're here, right? Maybe they have a question. You can pull it up onto the screen. So it's super versatile. Um, Restream, check that out. There's a link in the description for that as well if you want to add that to your stream workflow. Of course, there's other options. You don't have to go with Restream. And you don't even need Restream if you're just gonna stream to one platform. But when you're going through OBS, setting up your stream, you're gonna go to settings here. And this is where we're gonna go. Settings, go to stream and then our service. So we use Restream, as I said before there, and that's gonna allow us to stream to multiple platforms at once. But now say you don't have that, you don't have the budget to have a, an extra service there. Um, you can select YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, look, and then look at all of these different uh, platforms that you can stream to, all right? Vimeo down there. All right, so there's really no, um, no limit to what you're going to stream to but again if you don't have a streaming um, subscription through say restream or something like that um, you're going to be limited to just streaming to one platform and so you'd have to choose what that is if you're streaming to youtube channel it'd just be streaming to that youtube channel or maybe to a facebook page um, but you would plug that in there into the settings um, a couple other settings we'll just go over while we're here real quick again you plug in your uh, stream stream key um, once that's all applied and set up and you have it set up on YouTube or Facebook, all you got to do is you hit start streaming and you're going to be going live. And whatever you see on your screen here in OBS, that's what your audience will see. So we switch over here. They're going to see my iPad, right? <clears throat> so you see my iPad, right? Different stuff going on there. Um, we got... Or Sony ZV-E10, which um, if you're looking for a camera, I just want to say like this is a super nice camera. It's not super expensive and it has good quality. I mean, look at this, right? And so if you're looking for a nice camera to add to your stream, you're trying to upgrade it, but you don't want to break the bank hardcore, check this out. Link in the description below as well. Sony ZV-E10, awesome camera. It's pretty small, portable as well. Um, and then there's, I have some videos of accessories that I use, what microphone, what um, bag I take with me, a little key light I take with me as well wherever I go. So if I'm hitting a Zoom call and I'm not here at my house um, with my setup, I can actually set up a nice looking Zoom call wherever I am. Um, so um, other settings though. So settings there, output. All right, this is going to be output. Here's our streaming tab. This is what's going to correlate to what we're actually pushing out there. Um, our output, again, just keep in mind, ATEM Mini Pro can only do up to 1080. And so we don't want to push any higher than that. Um, that's going to be the max resolution. So we're going to stay right there. Um, down here, we have our bit rate. So that's going to be important as well. Um, really, we don't need any more than 6,000 uh, kilobits per second. 
Um, key interval, key frame interval, we want to set that to two seconds, all right? And so that'll, that's a good rule of thumb. Your profile, hi, that's fine. Um, when we're putting audio out there, um, another thing, audio bit rate, what we're streaming, set that to 320, that's the max, right? Um, it's just gonna make it sound as good as possible and it's not a huge amount of bit rate, so it's not gonna actually hurt your stream too much. And then we got audio down here. <clears throat> That's more of your actual settings there. Video resolution. Um, this is where we would actually change some of the base canvas, right? What we're actually seeing. So if you were trying to go um, 4K, you can see that 5120 by 2880. Uh, it's going to change that whole uh, screen. Again, we can't push that through the ATEM though. Um, but if you were going through OBS solo, um, you could um, out output scaled resolutions is what we're putting out to the stream. Um, there's that. So so really you could change this to 4K if you wanted to. Um, and if you're recording your OBS here, um, you would be recording to your computer a 4K file. But then when you're streaming, it's actually this is what it pushes out. It pushes out a 1080 resolution so you could record your 4k to cut out um, edit later um, while you're streaming 1080 and then my uh, frames per second 24 frames per second is what I use uh, it's pretty good again it's kind of keeps the the data down but the quality high of course you could go to 30 frames per second you go to 60 if you want um, then we get into we need some higher bit rates better internet all those capabilities and so get into some different stuff but anyways once you do set all those settings you want to make sure if this button over here apply is highlighted and clickable you want to click that before you close this screen so you save all of your settings and then really what you're you're ready to do and so if I was to want to go live I'd fade to black right make sure that I'm, I'm not there uh, I'd hit my start streaming um, it would be going live and then I'm gonna open with my opener if I have it all right, let that run and we'll just go to the end here right and then what I'd cut to is my black magic uh, channel one hey what's up guys welcome to the show glad to have you today today we're gonna be talking about how to set up your OBS studio with your a10 mini pro here we go check it out <clears throat> then maybe we cut over to another camera angle if we had it set up mine is just uh, my iPad again but anyways, this is uh, your little OBS tutorial. If you want to check out some of the gear that I use, the A10 Mini Pro, maybe you want a video switcher to add to your screen, uh, your stream, uh, you can check it out. The links are in the description. Uh, but thanks for joining today. If you got any questions, drop them in the chat there, and I'll check them out there, and we'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, but yeah, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Peace.